Good morning, guys. So this is an estate sale we went to where it's actually a warehouse. So this company, instead of hosting sales in the houses, they actually bring everything to this warehouse. And it's really cool because it's usually a bunch of different estates. So you kind of get like a three for one special one spot and you get a lot of different merchandise. So um, here we are picking up a Logitech webcam. I usually always pick these up. Most people that I know of can't sell this stuff on Amazon. Uh, it's a restricted brand, but it always sells well on eBay because you can't really buy it on Amazon, pre-owned at least. So there's usually a really good market for that on eBay. And we paid uh, $5 for this one and I've got it listed for 68 bucks. It has not sold yet. So here you guys see Allison entering the frame and uh, she's got a few things in her hands. One of them being the webcam we just picked up, but she also has got a little anchor sound cube, like a wireless speaker. And what we'll do when we get to these sales is we'll kind of split up to kind of divide and conquer. So she brings things to me that she's not sure about or that she's already looked up just to make sure the profit margin's right. And here I'm picking up a Philips Sonicare replacement brush head set. Uh, that's a restricted brand on Amazon, so that went to eBay, and we actually sold that for $15. So I just picked up a Ryobi parking assist module. It's part of like a smart system, I guess, to let you know when you've pulled past your parking spot in your garage. It's like a little visual representation, but that went to Amazon FBA. We paid $10 for it, and I have it listed for $89.99. So here I am picking up two Blackweb remotes. Uh, these are actually Walmart's name brand. So they're not worth a lot, but they were brand new in the package. So I went in and picked them up. Uh, we paid $2.50 each and I've got them both listed for $15. So here you guys see a new wave induction cooktop uh, in the bottom of the frame that was brand new in the box. And I actually listed that for $120 and it sold pretty quickly and we only paid $25 for it. So here I pick up a Western Digital external hard drive. This was for Mac only, which I thought would be a little bit more valuable than one for a PC. It was open, so I was not able to send it into Amazon FBA, but I do have it listed for $49 on eBay as open box, and we only paid $10 for it. So here I am, I'm going to the holding table. Uh, most estate sales have these. It's, in my opinion, easier than carrying a bag around, so we usually utilize those. And while I was doing that, Allison was looking around, and here she's got, it's a garbage disposal button that goes on top of the counter, and it's brand new. So I scanned that into the Amazon FBA seller app, and we figured out that it's worth a pretty good amount of money. We actually already sold it for $60, and we only paid $5 for it. So here I am picking up a Moen towel bar. Moen's a brand that certain items are restricted on Amazon FBA. So I went in and scanned it in and I was not restricted on that particular item. So we picked that up for $2 and we have it listed on FBA for 40 bucks. So I was not eligible to sell this Insincorator garbage disposal. It was a restricted brand for me. So whenever you guys see that on the seller's app, just try to request being able to sell that because sometimes you will be able to get auto approved, which is exactly what happened here. So if I would have passed by this and just kind of taken it as it was, oh, I can't sell this, uh, we would have missed out on $400 because we actually sold that for $389 on FBA. That was the only one selling it. It's discontinued. We only paid $25 for it, so that was a huge score, probably the biggest one at this sale, and we would have missed it if I wouldn't have kind of pressed on, so don't forget to do that. So I'm about to pick up this Elemis. It's a radiance cream. Uh, the box was a little damaged, but it was sealed inside, and I'm, I always make sure to check that out because I've bought some that's not brand new, and it's difficult to sell like that. So this was brand new. It's kind of a high-end brand, so I actually had this listed on eBay for $45, and we only paid $5 for it. So just, again, always look that kind of stuff up. Radiance creams and all these different beauty aids and all that stuff, it's usually worth really good money. 
you guys can see this is a brand new in the box Wilson set of golf clubs and it had a golf bag with it so it was actually brand new in the open box so this was twenty dollars because it was half off and this set sells for over two hundred dollars I do not have it listed yet but like I said it was brand new in the box it still had the plastic around the clubs it had all of the covers that you put on clubs I don't know what those are called and here I am checking out just to make sure because something for twenty dollars and it's brand new i was kind of thinking that this would be an empty box or missing a club but it wasn't so i need to get those listed and that would be easy to ship all you have to do is put a, a shipping label on that box and you're good to go so here you guys can see uh, that guy was looking up these Bose Aviation headphones. So I kind of do this from time to time where if somebody's kind of hovering around or lingering on something, I'll kind of look at something else and kind of get close to them. Sometimes, you know, they just kind of move over. They were actually Bose cases, but they had, I think they were Sennheiser headphones in them. So they were $10 a piece. I've already sold the cases for $18 a piece, and I have the Sennheiser headphones list. And actually, I went back to that guy because he was actually on the phone with his brother-in-law. So I didn't really hear the conversation until later. And I thought that I had kind of taken those from him, but he assured me that, you know, the brother-in-law didn't want them. So I did <laughs> kind of feel bad there for a second. So I went ahead and made sure that he wasn't trying to buy those and I kind of just moved him off. So here you see me pick up these. I think they were made by Sylvania uh, flashes. They were for the old Polaroid um, SE land cameras, which I knew those were, I think they're SX land cameras. I knew those were good cameras anyway. So I went and looked that up and I was actually able to sell these for $14 since they were brand new in the box. So here you guys see these dishes. These were actually on the exact same table that I picked up those Bose headphones from. But I was so concentrated on getting those that I kind of moved past these. But these things were just <laughs> really, really cool. Um, I'm not really a dishes person. I never picked them up to even look at them. But these kind of struck my eyes very mid-century, which is in right now. And some of these were brand new in the original packaging. And these were from 1976. So we actually bought all of them. I think I paid like $30, less than $30 for everything on that table. There was like 24 pieces, something like that. Um, I actually already sold the cups for $73. I think there was a lot of eight and they came with little saucers. Um, I also have the smaller plates listed for $80. There was five of them and we have the larger plates listed for $63. So from $30 into almost $200 profit, awesome score there. I will in the future keep my eyes peeled for dishes. Ready? Uh, yes. I got a whole bunch of stuff. You want me to call it out to you? If you can, I need. Okay. I also wanted to mention this here, guys, because you guys have seen me use this form. So this is an actual sales tax exemption form. So if the estate sales are a, are a registered business who collects sales tax, if you have this form, it enables you to not pay a sales tax since you are going to be reselling items. So if you are a registered business with your state, you can apply to get one of these, and I would suggest that you do, because if you don't, you're just throwing money away at that point. Thank y'all so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.